Imagine waking every morning to the sounds of the rainforest, the trills of cascades, aura pendulas, and other tropical birds, along with howler monkeys calling in the distance. You listen closely, even strain to hear, but there are no traffic noises from any direction. The air is fresh, the water is pure, and the land is yours. 58 hectares of mixed terrain with everything you need for a homestead or sustainable farm in the mountains of northern Costa Rica. This authentic Tico farm is currently used to grow plantains, bananas, and mandarinas. Its pastures are home to 13 head of cattle. Almost every acre of this property is usable land. It's part of a larger estate that was divided between siblings and it has a clear title. There is no dispute over the land and no history of unsuccessful projects. It's not a casualty of gentrification, nor does it bear the stigma of someone else's failure. It's pristine and untarnished, nestled high above the rat race you long to escape from. The property is remote but not isolated. The road that fronts it is public and well-maintained. Several bridges between the farm and the nearby town of Bihagua are modern and rated for heavy vehicles. There are no wet river crossings, and access to this farm is reliable year-round. Electrical service is already established along the road front, and so is community water. The community water is sourced from a natural spring high on the mountain, and it is not metered. You will pay a flat monthly rate regardless of consumption. Cell service is exceptionally strong in this area due to a confluence of towers on surrounding mountains. It provides consistent 4G service and high-speed internet through Claro Residential. At the point where this property meets the road, it is approximately 800 meters above sea level. From its higher elevations, there's a clear view of Lake Nicaragua. Behind it rises the cone of the ancient Miravalles volcano. Soil here is volcanic and fertile, and water sources are abundant. Flora includes native palms, flowering plants, and hardwoods, with toucans, monkeys, sloths, and wildcat species both large and small counted among local fauna. One edge of the property is bordered by a gentle river that cascades from the slopes of the volcano. The groundwater is considered to be a primary water source, and it is drinkable. The farm already has a water storage cistern in place, fed by a natural aquifer that flows year round. Additionally, several clear streams babble across the landscape, creating many opportunities for ponds and catchments at various locations around the farm. They are cold and pure enough to sustain fish and crustacean life, as well as support naturally occurring watercress in prolific quantities. A portion of the land is currently registered as protected rainforest. By design, this contract becomes void once the property changes hands, but the option to re-register the acreage will remain. Protected land cannot be developed or improved, preserving it for future generations. This presents a good opportunity for future landowners who may be interested in partnering with Costa Rica in conserving its natural resources. This farm is the closest thing to a Garden of Eden that you may ever see. It has literally everything required to make it ideal for an off-grid or even permaculture lifestyle. The degree of privacy here is unrivaled, and the farming community surrounding this land is tight-knit. This is a place where vaqueros still work their herds from horseback. Women and children walk the roads without fear. A primary school and small clinic located in the community provide services for nearby residents. Precipitation is adequate year-round to keep the foliage green, yet there has been no erosion or aggressive development to disrupt the natural channels that have been established across the landscape for thousands of years. Because of this, even during times of heavy rainfall, water moves across the terrain so efficiently that flooding is not an issue. If your bucket list includes buying land in Costa Rica, you do not want to overlook this piece of property, especially if your heart's desire is to homestead or adapt your footprint into a sustainable, eco-friendly lifestyle.
searching for glory I took out an open and wrote in my story Then I kept walking on down the road It's time to go I pray he reads what's on the road It takes to heart what I wrote I said, son, when you grow up you'll be fine I know you've got questions on your mind Yeah.